lost in my mind Wanted to give up so many times But God was mine A consistent way maker Here's a great God covered me God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the book of Exodus chapter 4. And we'll begin reading at verse number 10. And it says, But Moses pleaded with the Lord, O Lord, I'm not very good with words. I never have been, and I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I get tongue-tied and my words get tangled. Then the Lord asked Moses, Who makes a person's mouth? Who decides whether people speak or do not speak? Hear or do not hear? See or do not see? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will be with you as you speak, and I will instruct you in what to say. Amen. Right now you may have something in front of you, a a, a challenge that um, when you look at it, you might have some question or maybe even some outright doubt as to whether you can get it done. Um, maybe God is, is leading you to, to begin a ministry or to expand and increase your ministry. Um, maybe uh, you have the responsibility on this weekend of singing the lead in the choir. Or perhaps it is your trial sermon this coming Sunday. Um, maybe there's a project on the job. Or there's something else that is before you, a challenge, uh, that you look at and say, I don't know how I can do it. Um, God wants you to know today that uh, you need to have focus. And and the focus is not so much on the task at hand, but on the God at hand. Uh, Because, see, when you focus on the task, and then you focus on your abilities or inabilities, then the task may become too big for you. But when you focus on God, and when you focus on His strength and His ability, then you will be empowered to go forward and to tackle that thing, knowing that you have the help of God Almighty on your side. So whatever it is that is in front of you today, if it seems as if it's too big for you, uh, perhaps it is. But take heart in knowing that it's not too big for your God. And your God is standing at the ready to help you. Uh, But he's going to do that as you release your faith in him uh, to get the job done. So right now, whatever that thing is, amen, just just take a deep breath. Let it out. Amen. You'd be surprised how often that helps helps you when you're in a time of need. That deep breath and you let it out. And then return unto your God. And if you were worrying and fretting, go unto God and say, Lord, I repent. I'm sorry that I was acting as if I didn't have your help on my side. And then go unto him in faith and say, Lord, I believe in you. I know you called me to do this. And if you called me to do this, I know you shall provide everything that I need to get this job done. And then go forward in faith, believing that God will be glorified in your doing. Amen. So be encouraged today. Amen. God is on your side. Focus on his strength, not on your strength or your lack of it. Focus on the strength of God and know that in his faithfulness and in his love, he shall show himself strong in your life. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus truly loves you and his love never fails. You